Now there's one topic that worries parents the world over. It used to be only alcohol, drugs, wagging school that people who had kids had to worry about. Now there's a whole minefield around gender, gender transitioning, and whether parents have any say at all in what medical procedures their kids undergo, even at a young age. We've read the stories. The helpless parents as their child transitions with support from school teachers or doctors. And if a parent doesn't go along for the ride or dares to disagree, they're labelled homophobic and heartless. This has been a movement globally, particularly in the United States. But senior doctors at one of Australia's leading children's hospitals are questioning this. They're questioning the gender-affirming approach in medicine. They say there's sparse evidence to justify the use of puberty blockers. Senior physicians at the New South Wales Children's Hospital Westmead's Gender Clinic have studied the physical and mental health of 79 patients in a rare academic study at the, of the, looking at the outcomes of children who presented with gender distress and gender dysphoria. Their study, and it was reported in the Australian newspaper, found that 88% of children presenting at Westmead's gender clinic had at least one comorbid mental health condition with more than 50% diagnosed with behavioural disorders or autism. They said that one in five children who consulted with the clinic with gender-related distress later had those feelings resolved. And they say that almost one in 10 with a formal diagnosis of gender dysphoria had taken some puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones, later discontinued transitioning. 